Don't let virtual meeting stress you out. This step-by-step -step video on Microsoft Teams will guide you on how to use the platform to make your meetings more productive and stress-free. By the way, virtual meeting will greatly save you a lot of time, especially on transportation time. But remember not to abuse it if you are a manager. So let's jump right in and I'll show you on the easy step to start your virtual meeting with your Teams. Right now, I'm in my Microsoft Teams. So when you come up here, you need to set up a Teams, assuming you know how to do that. So today, the focus will be how to create a virtual meetings. So let's say you want to create a meeting, just jump right in to right over here. You can just go to the calendar. Okay. And now right over here, you will have uh, your calendar, right? So if you are using the same email register on your Outlook and your Teams, you can create uh, your meeting right over here and you share the same calendar. Now, I will also show you on how to create one using your Outlook as well. If you're using the Outlook calendar, it is the same. So simple is that, let's say you want to have a meeting, right? You can click here, meet now. All right, and it's very simple. Meet now, you want to change this title to whatever meeting you can, and then get a link to share or start a meeting, right? So let's say you have a urgent meeting that you want to call, and you don't need to schedule it right now. So you can start the meeting right immediately by clicking over here, okay? Now, if you want to schedule a meeting, you can click right over here, new meeting, click here, and then it will take you to this screen, right? How to set it up. Let's say I want to have a meeting, okay? So let's call it test meeting. Okay, let's say tomorrow. Yeah, and what time to what time, okay? So let's say 30 minutes and then yeah, right? Now, here this is the, the details for this meeting, okay? So the best is that always, if you have a frequent or so-called repeated meetings, right? Always you just like copy and paste some of the agenda. Now in my next video, then I'll show you about how to create an agenda and so on. But if you don't want to write anything over here, that's fine because if this is for your own internal Teams meeting only, you don't have to put in too many information because all these details will be sent to your participants, right? Now, the strange thing about uh, Microsoft Teams compared to Zoom is that if you don't put an acquire require or add require attendees right over here, right? Let me show you how, right? So let me click save. Let's say I want to have a test meeting. I'll just click save. Now you can see this test meeting is right over here. But the problem is, now, this is the first time, especially when you use Microsoft Teams to create a virtual meeting, right? I mean, I, I faced the same problem when I first used it as well. I try to find uh, the meeting links to so, so that I can send it to, to all my invitees, right? People who want to come to the meeting. Okay, Like, like Zoom, it's straightforward. Once you create a meeting, you have this, you can copy the, the links. But in Microsoft Teams, you don't have it, you see? So, I mean, for the first time, it takes me like hours to figure out how to find that, yeah? So the important part here, must understand Teams is actually created for like internal meetings or for organization collaboration. And it's actually not built just specifically for virtual meeting like Zoom, all right? So let me go back here. I can go back and edit. You need to put in at least one require attendees, right? So it is simple, right? Say so if your friend or whoever want to come to a meeting doesn't have an email or you don't have their email, all you need is just put your whatever email. Okay. So I can put in my, my own email and then I will send update. You will you will send this to to my email. Okay. All right, so I'll click send update here. And now, as long as you have one email, right? Now you have this link. So then you can copy this link and then you can share with 
all the participants, right? Now, if everyone is the same organization, it's even easier. Just go in and add their, their emails because you know their emails. Usually, if they're in your contact list, just type their name, the emails will pop up, and then you just select, 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 and then just update and automatically email to them. You don't have to do anything at all, right? So that why it's very convenient if you use it for your internal teams. Only if you want to invite other peoples, and for those who doesn't have emails, this is the way you can do it, right? Just add any of your own email, and then you have the links. Then you can send it to all the participants. Now, this, this is the first step, and it, it, it is the most troublesome steps, especially you, you can't, I mean, you want to have meeting, but you can't find the links. The easiest is that if you want, you click here, meet now, right? Means that you don't need to send the links. And uh, before the meeting, you just click now and then only send it to your participants through, through whatever chat inside the Teams or WhatsApp, okay? That is another way to do that. That's why I say is that you can also do that in your Outlook calendar. Let me take you to my Outlook, right? So you can see that here, this is the one that uh, just now just create, okay? Let's say I want to create another meeting right over here. I can put in here, meet S2, okay? So I can do that as well. And then if I want, I can put in more options, right? So what you need to do is that click here, Teams meeting. Now, it, let's say you already create one and you forget about it, and then you want to convert this to team meeting of, I mean, Microsoft Teams meeting. And all you need is just come over here, click more. And then what you do is click this team meetings, okay? And save, all right? So now interesting is that when you do that, you see, you don't need to add any participants, okay? So you can click here and join, but you don't have any participants, you see, right? You can come in here and invite the attendees, you see? So if not, right, what you can do is that, okay, let me discard changes. Go back to your teams, right? You can see this meeting is set up. Now, interestingly here, you click here, there's a link, right? So if you create, the, the meetings right from the Outlook, yeah? When you go back to the Zoom calendar, it actually has a link without any participants. You see, there's a link right over here. When you click here, let me show you. There's no required attendees right over here, okay? So this is one way that if you do not have the, any participants or you do not know their emails, so it's create from the Outlook and then later come back and, and grab the link from the so-called uh, Microsoft Teams calendar, right? So here you can copy the link and then you can send it to all the participants. So this is how you, you set up your virtual meeting. Very simple, yeah? Okay, now the second thing, right? If you are participants, how do you want to join, right? Very simple. When people invite you, let's say, especially internal, they'll send you through your email and you can have a link, something like that. Let me go to back to the calendar and show you. Edit and options. Come on. All right. You will receive something like this. Microsoft team meetings, join. So all you need is click here to join the meeting, right? Or if you don't have this link, there's a meeting ID, okay? Copy this meeting ID, and then in your Microsoft Teams, you can join with an ID. What if some of the people outside your organization, okay? Yeah. Let me show you when you join the meeting and they do not have Microsoft Teams, how do they join the meeting, right? So let me take this, for example, copy this. Let's say I come over here and uh, they'll just click it and then they will come over here, right? 
Now, here is saying that this site is trying to open Microsoft Teams. Now, if you don't have Microsoft Teams, because here I already installed Microsoft Teams, so I can click here and open it. Just jump over to my Microsoft Teams apps and, and open it. You can cancel it. And then, you see, you can continue on this browser. So click here. Basically, it will go to the meeting pre-meeting screen. It means that for you to set up all the things. Okay. All right. So right now you can see here, this is a screen. Okay. So let me off it because the, I'm using recording this uh, using the camera. All right. So over here, okay, means that this is for you to set up. You want to set up your your sound and, and everything. Then once you're everything ready, just click join now. You can join right from the so-called browser. You don't need uh, Microsoft Teams apps to, to join the meeting. So it's very, very simple. All right now, if you're an organizer, make sure that you set it right before you join the meeting, okay? So you want to test or set up your equipment before you join the meeting. All you need is just go over here, these three dots, click it, and then go to the settings, and especially your devices, okay? Because in the morning, uh, people can see you and hear you, right? Click the devices, and then come over here, check it out, the speakers, right? So if you have a separate speakers or earphone, uh, once you set it up or plug it in, then you can select it through here. Now, microphone, if you have a special microphone or Bluetooth mic and, and so on, once you link it to your computer, and then you can also click here and then select the right microphone for you. So once you've done that, the most important thing is that click here and then make a test call, right? Test call meaning that you will show you. And then if you use Skype before, I think Microsoft Teams is using the same function, right? Click here and then you can uh, just talk and recording and then you play back to you. So, and your video is right over here. So you can see right over here and then uh, your face, everything, and then adjust brightness. More thing that people can see you, right? Is the brightness if you are sitting in the dark corners okay uh, just turn on this right it will automatically adjust it for you okay so these are important thing before you go into a meeting you want to set it right so this is one of the key things that you want to set it right over here through the devices so that people can hear you you don't want to go into a meeting that people cannot see you cannot hear you then you just try to struggling on all the settings okay so it's very simple yeah, then you can continue to your meeting. Okay, the last tip for this video, there's a lot of people asking, can we record, right, the meetings, okay? So let me show you how to record the meetings. So click over here, and then let's say I go to join the meetings. Okay, now I'm in the meeting, yeah? So let me latch it, right? So right over here the three dots you can see here and then right over here okay this is i'll get rid of this come back here again record and then start recording now you can do transcription as well so in my next video then i'll talk about more about on the transcription or how to take agenda meeting notes and and, and so on so you can click right over here in the start recording and it can automatically record. So when you're done, so just click stop recording and then it will automatically save into a file. Yeah. And then it will send you a note saying that the, the file or the recording is ready. Okay. And all you did is just go play it or you can download it. All right. I hope this will help you and then to help you kick start your virtual meeting right now. Now, I hope this simple guide will help you to kickstart, right? Or try it out using Microsoft Teams for your virtual meetings. Now, I love using it once you understand how to do it because it saved me a lot of time, right? Rather than you have to go to a meeting rooms, waiting, or you have to go and travel, okay? And stuck on a jam on the road. So it saves you a lot of time, especially short meetings. We should try to use Microsoft Teams. Now, by the way, remember when we start, say do not abuse it. So if you are leaders or managers, try not to use too much of it as well. There are other Microsoft Teams functions that you can use 
and I will show you in the subsequent videos on all that. So this is a series about how you can use Microsoft Teams to become a high performing leaders. So if you're interested to learn how to become a high performance leader or become more productive so that you can grow your career, do follow and subscribe to this channel. By the way, I'm Andrew and, and I want to help you to become a high performance. So I'll see you real soon in my next video.